Well, um, seeing how much time we have and, and whatnot, I thought I'd sort of, um, sort of broadly define what it is that we do and, and touch on some of the points, but we'd really love to hear your comments, your questions, and make it sort of more interactive. And as already indicated, I'd like Trevaya and myself here today, delighted to be here. Um, and uh, Electrovia and, and what we do in the battery world for the clean transportation and renewable energy grid markets particularly, I think, addresses uh, the flip side of the coin of peak oil, which is for every crisis you have opportunity, and uh, no more so perhaps in these two industries. Um, Electrovia is a Canadian uh, technology company, an innovator. We've got about 150 patents uh, and a lot more in the works. Um, we've been, we started out actually um, just downtown at uh, what's now uh, the Liberty Village area. Back when we were there, it was never quite so chic. Um, and as we grew, we're now out in the suburbs, out in Mississauga. We are one of the very few North American lithium-ion battery manufacturers that actually manufacture here um, in either Canada or the U.S. Uh, we are Canada's one of its few lithium battery manufacturers uh, and uh, have been in existence as a public company on the Toronto Stock Exchange from about 2000, but existed as a private R&D firm um, from the mid-80s onwards. So we've been um, sort of quietly innovating in your backyard, working very hard on advanced battery technology, and um, the industries that we apply it to are now finally starting to emerge, and us along with it. So uh, in the transportation space, Electrovia has been working on that for, oh my gosh, pretty much since our existence, and very excited to share with you um, our very recent news as of yesterday, in fact that Electrovia has uh, just been announced as the partner to Chrysler's automotive uh, electric vehicle programs for their truck, plug, and hybrid electric vehicles. Now, of course, and as probably has been um, already um, discussed today, transportation is, is one of uh, the largest users of oil. It is also one of the very few industries uh, in existence that are that is completely and entirely um, dependent on one source of fuel in order to operate. Although there is some natural gas vehicles, some electric vehicles, really it is oil dominant at about 99%. And given that there are 900 million vehicles on the road today, and about 50 to 60 million added each year, it represents a serious problem. Uh, having uh, electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles is starting to shift the the um, the mix of vehicles out so that there are new solutions, new opportunities, and for the first time, alternatives to oil-based transportation. So Electrovia as a battery company is a enabler to, to make that happen. Uh, the limitations historically in electric vehicles have always been the energy storage device, be that a hydrogen fuel cell or a battery technology or, or something else. Um, there's, if you look at the lithium battery industry um, by itself, it is still a fairly young industry. Battery technologies are usually very slow to change, and that is true as well here, where lithium battery technologies have really been around for the last sort of 30 years, but only commercially available really for the last 10, 15. And um, if you can think back to when you had your first cell phones, obviously not that last one, um, but when they were big and clunky and had um, big batteries, old batteries, lithium batteries helped uh, propel the, the uh, cell phone industry into what it is today. It's also helped propel the, the computer industry into what it is today. And hopefully, too, in the next few years, as every automaker is, is um, putting into their uh, development cycle and their commercialization cycle, either full electric vehicles or plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. And Electrovia excited to be one of those, um, playing at a very global level, um, competitively and successfully um, and in, in, in that space. As well, um, batteries also have the opportunity to, so both, both the automobile industry as well as the renewable energy 
industry are probably the two largest hit industries by peak oil. Um, we've discussed a bit on the automotive side. In the utility space, um, for generation um, issues, adding on to additional loads required for, for, for larger economies and growing economies, uh, the, the issues of renewable wind and solar additions to the load have caused issues in terms of when have, have created challenges for when those peak and how to match the generation to the usage profile. Electrify is also focused on providing energy storage solutions to those applications where it provides a way for utility companies to match a renewable energy bank of either wind or solar or tidal with a storage device so that it provides a buffer. And again, what it's doing is it's enabling utilities to add more renewable energy to their generation mix and allowing them to match the cycle of when the, when the usage is required because wind usually is added overnight when people have their lights off um, and matching the usage profile to the generation profile. So um, there in that application, actually, I think Electrovise just started working with um, a, a, a number of Canadian utilities, in addition, uh, which include Toronto Hydro, Hydro One, and uh, Manitoba Hydro. So looking forward to that in terms of showcasing how renewable energy generation can be matched with energy storage to enable solutions to, to propel that industry as well forward and into a larger mix of, of today's solutions. So that's sort of an overview to, to what Electrovia is doing and how peak oil is enabling or on the flip side of that challenge, there are new opportunities that are coming online and are fascinating both from a research perspective, um, from a new opportunities perspective for, for businesses, for grad students, um, and for new business models. So it's sort of broadly our story, but would like to hear more from you and sort of the questions um, that you might have there. <laughs>